The curtains rose for Winter Opera St. Louis's production of Swore Angelica on March 19th. The opera takes place at a convent in 17th century Italy. For general director Gina Galati, Swore Angelica was the perfect way to bring opera performances back. And this is something that has a lot of meaning and it and it's very short and concise, but it has beautiful Puccini music, lyrical singing. Webster Music Department adjunct faculty member Karen Kanakis played the title character. The trio of operas this, that this comes from, two of them um, are very dark, but there's actually a comedy um, stuck in there. But Swore Angelica was not the comedy. I'm here outside the Kirkwood Performing Arts Center, where the opera took place. The story begins after Sister Angelica has been living in the convent for seven years, having been forced to take the veil after giving birth to an illegitimate son. While she has not seen her family during these years, she has had her sisters at the convent. The camaraderie at the nunnery stood out to Kanakis as something the cast also felt. We have this joy of making art, most of us for the first time in a year, um, that gives us, um, just as humans, a sense of camaraderie and a sense of purpose as a group. As the opera progresses, however, Sister Angelica is forced to sign away her inheritance, is told her son is dead, and ultimately takes her own life to be with him in heaven. She then realizes she has committed a mortal sin and prays to Mary to be forgiven. To Kanakis, that is what Swore Angelica is about. So the takeaway is forgiveness and redemption. Galati also saw this positive message. But I felt like this, the ending of this is all about redemption and um, forgiveness. And I feel like after this year, having, having an opera with a good meaning at the end of redemption was something very important. Kanakis said she knows the story is sad, but... I hope that you come away feeling that sense of a little bit of um, light at the end. For The Journal, I'm Cass Wygond.